Welcome huh? to Scotia Bank on this wonderful International Women's Day. Yes. <laughs> We're very, very pleased to have the men among us. Um, we couldn't have had this day without you. You know that. Right. So thank you for joining us too. And as we're welcoming, may I welcome the officials of the Jamaican Netball Association. Our pleasure to welcome Marva Bernard. You know, you know this is family, right? Yes. 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 And, and, and family treat family good, right? Yes. That's so true. Good, good. And I want to welcome Dorothy Hobson. Welcome to Scotia Bank. But the real big welcome is for Jill McIntosh. Yeah. Welcome to Scotia Bank and welcome to Jamaica and welcome to the most fabulous, awesome netball team in the world. Yeah. Yeah. We're really, really happy to have you and we look forward to very exciting days and I know you must be doing the same too. Great. And then I want to welcome my colleagues um, from Scotia Bank, our big time official, Peter King. <laughs> and our super manager, Diana Pola. <laughs> and our super, super manager, Wayne Shaw. <laughs> and the ladies of our netball team, let me see if I have the names right now. Kamika Sherwood, it's Kamika, all right? And then Nadia Brown, right? And Marsha Martin, yeah. Murphy. Murphy, Murphy, right. And then I have Shelly Sykes um, from our marketing department and Joan, who's our director of marketing. And I'm Johnny Griffith Serving, director of public and corporate affairs and our Colleagues, my, my colleagues, I still call them my colleagues from the media. So good to have you. This morning um, is very special. And Judy, you saw your sign, right? Yes. Oh. <laughs> um, we're very pleased that um, you're here with us. I know you're more pleased um, to be here. But this is very special for us on this very special day to be, um, again, renewing our association with the Jamaica Netball Association. We are very, very pleased. The netballers have done us very proud here at Scotia Bank. We have not regretted one cent of our investment. Not one cent. And this is one investment we never hesitated to make again. We are very, very proud. We are very pleased. And so it is with a whole lot of pleasure that we are here again this morning to for the fourth renewal of our sponsorship with the under 13 and under 16 girls. And so the lady who really knows how to make <laughs> things happen, who commands the big bucks here in the marketing department, Joan Forrest Henry. <laughs> I'm gonna turn over to Joan to really make things happen right now. So again, thank you all for coming. All right, Joy. All right. Thank you, Jody. I'm sure all of us are awake after that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I was thinking about today, and I remembered four years ago, when we sat down with yourself and the Sonia and shared with you our vision and our dream to be a part of a sustainable program for the netball especially at the nursery level. Do you remember that meeting, Mama? Yeah, and we spoke about it, and we dreamt about taking the program national, and we want to move from Kingston and St. Andrew all the way down to Liberty Point, because we have a tendency to concentrate a lot of what we do in the corporate area, and we would not be able to tap into some of the talent that is out of town. And so that was one of the motivational things for us when we went on board with the JNA to be a part of this program. And I remember Sonia and Marvel, like they were about to have a heart attack, you know, because when they heard that we were going to come on board as a sponsor of tenure, because we're coming on for three years, with an investment of $12 million, that was the first time I saw Marvel Bernard being speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And so here we are in year four, and we're looking forward to another three years. But we have to look back in order to look forward. And what we can say in terms of successes, not only did we have the netballers moving from the under 13 program into the under 16 program, we also had an umpire program that came from nowhere that was never a part of the original plan. But what that shows is that you don't have to be a part of the team to play on the team, right? Because whether you play on the team on the court or off the court, it is all about sustaining netball. And it's about harnessing that talent and honing that talent and holding on to that passion, you know? So not because you're not going to go on and become a netballer in terms of a sunshine girl down the road. You can, you can officiate, you can be on the sidelines making things happen. And not only did we do that, but we also adopted a player for the Under-21 program. And that individual went on to the Cook Islands and he was proud in that tournament. You remember Tito? Okay. So as we look forward, we look forward to the program going into a number of parishes. Marvel, now we're excited to cover the island. And we're looking forward also to the tournament in 2013. We're also going to be sponsoring one of the under-21 players, this time to Glasgow. So you see, our commitment is not only at the under-13 level, but also at the under-16 and under-21 level, and eventually at the Sunshine Girls level. So on behalf of Scotiabank, we want to applaud the work of the Jamaica Netball Association for making this sponsorship so easy for us and so easy for us to say yes. And I'd also like to say, Jerry, welcome again. I know you have had many welcomes, but we'll have to add another one. And we're also happy to have been a part of that process to make your trip here possible. And also to have you be a part of that developmental program for the coaches. And I'm sure we're going to beat Australia because of your effort. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Today is really special. When I woke up this morning, I really confessed I didn't know it was International Women Women's Day. And then I said, What a wonderful God is it? And it's that it is today. I actually insisted that this is going to happen today, and I now understand why. Because I want for all the women in this country to take care and nurture the number one female sport in this country and the most successful team sport that we have. And before I go into why today is special for me, Joy is coming to the door, I think. Probably, yes. Welcome, Joy. Today is special for me because sitting across from the table, I need to let you know, I see three young ladies, two of whom for years, for years I have been saying, the program needs you. The program needs you. Nadia has been a captain of our under-16 team. Kamika was on our under-21 team and Marsha was on the Sunshine Works team. And I really, when I came back from the Com Games, I called away and he was waiting for the call. <laughs> because I said, we need to have these three girls in the program. No matter that they came from BNS, it's just a wonderful thing that they came from BNS. But as I told people, I had not come in my prayer box for years. <laughs> <laughs> but they are in the program, and I really want to thank Scotiabank for giving them the support that they need to do this. I know they're at school, but are juggling what all the other girls do. They juggle, and I think she should be proud of Nadia and Kamika and Marsha. Marsha comes to do her shooting training, then we take her to school. Because at the end of Nepal, there is a life. So thank you, BNS. Thank you, ladies, for sticking with the program. It's not going to be easy. But they say if you want good, you know it's how to run. <laughs> now for our flagship, this program gives me a good feeling. Every time I go to the training sessions, I leave a lump of sugar in my mouth because of what I see happening with these children. And they are making the progression. And yes, it is a program that we treasure. Hence, we spend so much time to make you proud of what we do. And I really want to thank Joy because she really does make my life easy in terms of reporting to you as to what's happening on the nursing program. Dorothy is in charge of the junior umpires, and in, in another two weeks, you will see 
that there is going to be a little team from England with some little girls who will be coming here to play some of the nursery girls and some of the girls who came from your program. And I mean, every time I read the emails, it's talking about um, parents, the Dorothy is now going to be organizing for them to have practical lessons in how to become umpires and how to do their practical. They have all passed their exams, and this is something we want to take across the island. And yes, we have a plan to take this program into the parishes that have associations because it is important for us to ensure that the way in which we conduct the affairs of the BNS sponsorship will be a blueprint for those who will not put your money where you will not be able to be proud of what it is. So we still have on the table to take it out of Kingston, but it must be in a structured environment. And so ladies and gentlemen and the media, I want to thank the Scotia Bank for putting Jamaica's netball on a firm footing. We don't have to worry about players not having players like Nadia who comes to the program with good skills because she got them from the under 16 program. And we have a lot of girls now on the under 21 who came from your program. So I really want to thank you. I want to thank you for bringing Jill here. As I tell my friends, I'm now sleeping through the other half of the night. <laughs> because we didn't know how we were going to do it, but we just knew that we had to do it. And Jill has said to me, Mamba, whatever it takes. And so we are here, your girls are here, we're all here doing whatever it takes to get a different result for the Sunshine Girls. So thank you, Shelley. Thank you, everybody. Wayne, you continue to be. Because you're so wind beneath my wings, and I need a lot of wind <laughs> to keep me up in the air. So, you, he, he, and he really is a very good manager for your girls. You must know that they put him down as their next of kin. <laughs> next of kin, Wayne Shaw. But he is really somebody that you should be proud of as an employee. As a team manager for the ladies, it shows us that you do not have to have a female manager because Wayne is a really good example of what a manager ought to be. And I want to tell you publicly, Wayne, thank you for your support, continued support of what we do and for me in particular. So for the next three years, we can only promise you that we will take this program higher and we will live up to your expectations of being a sporting association that you will be proud to put your name with. Everyone is Joe's daughter will be on the way.